Hello and welcome to chapter 20 out of our blueprint book. We are going to talk about steam wells today. Um, so these are not often seen by manual, you know, for manual welders, people doing this all day. A few specialized industry, industries it is, but um, it's fairly common sheet metal manufacturing. And what a, a seam weld is, is it's a continuous weld made on or between overlapping members. This can be a single long weld or a series of overlapping spot welds. Um, use seal sheets in most, most applications. What that looks like, um, we got one sheet, I've got another sheet, I'm going to make this a hidden line so you know that this sheet is on top of this sheet and what's going to happen is we're going to run a weld all the way down this to seal them. That's one way to do it. Um, we can also do a series of shorter welds like that. Um, and this is parallel to the weld joint. We can also have them go this way. That's perpendicular to weld joint. But usually, um, I won't say usually, Usually it's TIG or resistant spot welding. If it's spot welding, it'll either it'll be a series of little bitty like like pop 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 pop. So a series of overlapping spot welds. Um, if it's TIG welding, what you're doing is you're actually welding through the top sheet, melting it, and fusing to the bottom sheet and sealing everything up. It's usually either TIG or, or resistance welding. So the symbol for this thing. So symbol looks like there's our um, there's our weld symbol and what it's going to be is that right there okay it has to have a tail um, and this just like most other weld symbols the symbology we use is going to be pretty consistent um, this does have arrow side other side or no significance so it can be one of those three things. It can't be more than one. Um, generally, if I've got it on the arrow side, or the, this is the other side, or if I've got it on the other side, see this is still in camera, what that means is that weld is going to be in here. If it is, move my arrow. If it is arrow side, that means my weld is going to be up here. And if it is astride the line, as they say, it is going to be in the middle. Let me enhance if I can. Oh, come on, computer. There we go. Enhance. So it's going to be other side, so it's between this bottom sheet in the middle, arrow side, it'll be this top sheet in the middle, or a stride line, and it will be both of them just like a spot weld. All right, de-enhance. So, oh God, oh God. Focus. Okay, perfect. Um, so that's how we're going to start talking about symbology. Um, just like spot welds, we're going to talk about um, strength or size. And in this case, that half inch means that's going to be the width of the weld. So if I'm looking at this thing in cross section, that weld is going to be half an inch wide. Okay. Um, or it can be strength. It's going to be one or the other, but not both. And just like spot welding, it's sheer strength. Um, and that's going to be in newtons or it's going to be in pounds per square inch. But anyway, um, 
so size or strength always goes on the left side. Um, length and pitch always goes on the right. Three means it's going to be three inches long. If I have three on six, it's going to be three inch weld on six inch centers. Big diesel truck goes by my office. Um, real standard stuff. We've talked about this at least three times already. It's all the same thing. Um, the thing about these as well is just like spot welds, we have to have a tail, we have to see the cross. The only place I see these used all the time is I've actually got um, a friend that works for a giant stainless steel freezer install company and they do miles and miles of seam welds on stainless steel flashing. Uh, the insides of these big freezers they put in, you know, at Simplot and Orion and all these places, they actually TIG weld, you know, 30, a 30 foot long weld top to bottom in these freezers. They do it all with TIG. Um, and it's tricky, but it works. But we have to have this, this call out in the tail for what process. Um, like I said, usually it's TIG or it's resistance welding. Um, only other thing to talk about is if we don't have, we talked about welds going parallel, going perpendicular. Give us our hidden lines again. So this sheet right here is overlapping this sheet. Um, if my welds are going this way, which is perpendicular to the axis of the weld joint, there has to be detail in this print telling me where they go. So I have to know that um, this one is three inches and this is four inches, whatever. But I have to have a print if they're not going if they're not going this way I have to have a detail showing me where they go because otherwise I don't know um, not this is probably not a world you're gonna see a lot of in industry but if you have any questions I'll try to answer the best I can find me in the lab find me online um, I'll talk to you later